Good morning! Woo! Yes! Happy Friday! How are you guys? Do you have a good week? Good week, good week. I got, I got anything planned this weekend that I need to know about? Hopefully something fun. Let's see who's jumping on first. Who is going to be my winner? I see a couple. Ann Lafferty! What's up, Ann? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You for sure. Way to go. Hi, Kim. What's going on, babe? Good to see you. Becky, how are you? Ah, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny. There's Deanne from Oklahoma. Early where you are. Good to see you, Deanne. Ah, morning. Okay, question for us today to ponder. Why is it that we are so friggin' resistant to change? Why is it? Hi, Shonda. Why is it that we're so resistant to change? Gosh, this is something holding us back from so much greatness. I know it and it's real and it's okay, but let's look at it and let's have some awareness. Hi, Tony, good to see you. All right, so the main reason, the main reason I feel that we are resistant to change is because we're focusing on what we have to give up instead of what we can gain. Let's say that again. The main reason we are resistant to change is that we immediately focus on what we would have to give up rather than what we would have to gain. Now we can toggle back and forth, but the most powerful force or pull in that equation in our brains that we know now work against us in a lot of ways the most powerful force there is the force to protect and to go into survival mode somehow of protecting you know, what we've done, what we have. Do you know there's a study that says we will fight harder, way harder, for things we have versus things we want, even though the thing we want might be greater. For instance, we will fight harder to protect $1,000 of ours rather than to go get 5,000. The energy, the mindset, the everything that we will exude or put energy into, we will do way more to protect $1,000 than to go get $5,000. Ridiculous, right? Sure sounds ridiculous, yet our brains are so, so powerful. Christine, hi babe, how are you? Hi Crystal, good to see you too. All right, so let's look at some examples of why um, change is so hard because we're focusing on what we'd have to give up versus what we can gain. The, the most like common example that I think everybody can kind of relate to is the idea of losing weight. So we know that we would love to fit into those jeans, feel comfortable in our clothes, look a certain way, look a certain way in our bathing suit, whatever, bikini, whatever. However, I mean, you'd think that would, that pull would be big enough, right? That, that the idea of how we would feel, how good that would feel would be big enough, but no, it isn't because the pull of what we would have to give up is so much greater. Oh, but I don't wanna give up my sweets. I don't wanna give up freaking carbs. I don't want to listen. I'm talking like how I talk to myself right now, because this is the struggle is real. I don't want to have to say no to things yet. I really do want, you know, this other thing. So here's another example. You want to start your own business. You are tired of the rat race and you want to be your own boss yet. I mean, and the rewards are magnificent. You can visualize that you could have success. Yet somehow that pull of, you know, focusing on what you'd have to give up, maybe a little financial security, maybe a routine that works for you, maybe benefits, like real things that you would have to give up. Yet you will put so much more weight on those, so much more weight than the amazing benefits of going after what you want. There's this thing called sunk cost biased sunk cost biased and it's um another reason that we don't change it's kind of a human trait and the easiest example to give you is let's say you invest in a convention you spend uh five hundred dollars to go to this day-long convention on some subject you're interested in 
and you get halfway through the convention and it's not at all what you thought. Good or bad, it's just not what you thought and it's not helping you. Nine out of 10 of us will sit through that damn thing because we paid for it. We'll, do, well, I paid for it, I might as well, right? Instead of cutting our losses and going and gaining the afternoon, we will protect the $500 we spent even though it's of no use. We've determined that it's not working for us or it's not what we needed or what we expected. It's called sunk cost bias. And that is one reason uh, that we resist change as well. So think about that. Think about something that you, you know, a goal that you've been after or a, a lifestyle that you'd really like to have. And are you giving enough weight to the magnificence of it? Or are you arguing for the why not and what would have to change? And oh, I don't know, I wouldn't want to do that. Or I'd have to, you know, the upheaval would be too much, right? That's you protecting what you have. That's you protecting the average, the known. Isn't that it? We know this life. We can handle it. We've learned to get through it. This magnificence is a little unknown, so we're not going to fight as hard for it. Think about that today, guys. Morning, Deb. How you doing? I bet it's cold. It's cold here in Cincinnati. I can only imagine what it is in Chicago. All right, so let's dance. Let's get uh, now this song only has to do with the idea that we hold on to you know what we have a little too tight versus going for what we want. The, the words of the song don't really match up, but the title of it, Hold On by Wilson Phillips, you gotta do it. This goes out to two of my favorite people from my college days. Beck and Annie, this one's for you guys. All right, let's do it. Hold on for one more day and you break free, break from the chain. Come on! Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Yeah, Lil Wilson Phillips! That's it. Sucks. You can only do 30 seconds of the music. That's all you get. I know you're going to go out and play that song again. All right, guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend and a good Friday. And if there's ever anything I can help you with, you know, just reach out. That's what I'm here for. Let go of what's comfortable and let's go get what you want. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.